Welcome to you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at does free antivirus software protect you against uh, ransomware? Now the answer to that is yes it will do, but you've got to remember out in the wild when you're using your computer, if you're just having one antivirus program on there, whether it be Avast, Avira, AVG, any of the free ones that are out there, uh, there is a possibility that a, a ransomware sample could slip onto the computer and it, uh, inject itself, unload its payload and then encrypt all your data. That is a possibility. So this test here is just to show you that uh, free antivirus software does block ransomware to a degree. And no software is 100% secure. So what I would advise you to do is always use layered security, i.e. antivirus program, firewall, anti-malware program, maybe a, a ransomware program if you're really paranoid about that stuff and some other bits and pieces uh, and you should be good to go. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we're going to be testing Avira here, the free version. Now every antivirus program is going to be different so when you test other versions it may be uh, different results so bear that in mind as well. So if you're using Avast it may be different to Avira. If you're using any other type of free antivirus program, that also may yield different results for you. So to get your free copy, all you need to do is type that into Google and look for the download free uh, Avira antivirus. And they do it for Mac as well. And you can go straight to that website and download it straight here. You can see it's a four megabyte download then you will need to update that version uh, through their updater and I'll show you that right now so all you need to do is come in here open this up here so it's just going to go into here and you can see the upgrade now this is to upgrade to the paid version uh, but to start your update you would click on this and it will update your definitions and everything else and the software now I've left this as it is default real-time protection and firewall it, that's exactly how it is right here I've not touched anything and uh, what we're going to do is close this off and close that off and I've got some uh, ransomware here and I'll show you these these are passworded so obviously it's not going to do the, nothing at the moment. But you can see we've got CBT Locker, Server 3 and 2 and 1 in there. We've got Cry, uh, ran, uh, Ransomware, Crypto Locker, Crypto Wall, Phantom, also Hitler, Ransom, HTA, New Locky Ransomware, Killer Locker, Locky, Petcher, you name it, they're all there. Tesla. What we're going to do is drag these onto our desktop and see. How the free antivirus goes so we'll do that right now so I'm just going to quickly right click extract here and then put in my password click OK and already you can see Avira starting to delete these and then you can see it popping up real-time protection detected four suspicious patterns and we've moved these files to quarantine. You can get the details by clicking on that and it will give you the details. And there you can see it's detected all of those and deleted them and put them into the quarantine area. So as you can see a very powerful tool and a very powerful and this is a free antivirus remember so what you got to remember is when you're using your computer on the internet you could come across a site or click on something that's a fresh new sample that isn't known to any of these software and what's going to happen is going to drop down onto the system get its payload and then encrypt all your data and that's what's going to happen uh, so you've got to be careful uh, to not get Put into a full sense of security thinking that this is going to block everything because it won't and that's what you've got to remember but people get confused and they say oh, i had an antivirus program on my system and it still encrypted all my data why did that happen you know so if you can see here now all these files have been deleted 
and these are some of the nasty ransomware out there now does that mean that's going to block every single version of serba free uh, no does that mean it's going to block every tesla crypt probably not and th these are the things you've got to remember um, this this type of software is going to only be as strong as its latest uh, definitions that it downloads so you can see here these have all been removed some of the nasty ones out there but you've got to remember some of these samples are, are well used now so they're probably going to be well detected by this type of software whereas computers out in the wild and they pick up stuff that's fresh and uh, and they'll quite easily get onto the system and encrypt all your data so bear that in mind said so the Zepto and uh, the new Lockheed does all those as you can see here uh, Hitler ransomware we just done torrent locker that's all done them all so basically it's deleting all of those now this holy crypt is a zip file so let me just extract this file Just to make sure that it does it but there you go so it's deleted all of those and that's basically it that's how it can block ransomware and that's a free antivirus so I just wanted to quickly show you uh, what a free antivirus can do as well as a paid version uh, you can see it's delete detected all 32 suspicious patterns uh, there and removed them all anyway as you can see pretty successful at removing all of those on the computer we can probably just remove this if we wanted to now because they're all gone uh, I hope you found that uh, useful my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you've got any video requests or anything like that let me know in the comment section below or on my forum that's probably the best place to go and also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.